So how long does it take for you to learn JavaScript basics? This is the question that I'm going to answer right here in this video. Welcome or welcome back to Claydas. My name is Syed and as an IT enterprise architect, web developer, I've been in the tech industry for a little over 20 years. So I have crossed many milestones and many, many hoops. So in this video, I'm going to shortlist and give you step by step, realistically, how long will it take you to learn JavaScript basics? And of course, this is important because employers these days are looking to hire individuals who understand the basic concepts or who have solid understanding of programming language, such as maybe JavaScript, right? Which is a very, very popular. So let's dive right in without further ado. I'm going to show you how long does it take realistically for you to learn JavaScript basics. So how long does it take to learn JavaScript basics, right? Can you learn JavaScript basics in a couple of weeks, for example? How long does it take to get to an advanced level? Now, what are you looking for? to become, whether you're looking to become a front-end developer or just dabbling with code, these are the first questions that pop into your mind, right? So JavaScript is a relatively easy programming language. So the amount of time that you actually need learning JS is directly tied, that, you know, the time that you're willing to invest in it, of course. Now JavaScript is the most common languages for making web pages interactive. That's the deal. Now, along with HTML and CSS basic understanding and knowledge, it is a must-have web developer skills and is considered a standard web technology, right? But unlike HTML and CSS, it's not a language that can you learn maybe in a few weeks or a few months. Well, that's what they say. But I'm going to show you how long exactly does it take for you to learn JavaScript. Now, typically, most programmers agree that it takes six to nine months to develop a working you know, proficiency in JavaScript. But here, we're talking about the basics or the fundamentals because employers typically hire entry-level people first because they have solid understanding or who have basic JavaScript skills, which can then be further refined on the job, and this is important. Today, we'll go over some of the strategies to get you started in, in learning JavaScript, right, realistically, and also highlight the path for you to become a front-end developer. Now, more importantly, you know, I'm going to provide a realistic idea of how long does it take to learn a new programming language, right? Like JavaScript. Now, most successful coders agree that typically it takes about two to three hours a day for six to nine months in learning JavaScript. Well, what if you double it? Boom, there you go. You can learn it within three months. You know, if you can dedicate it more time, you can even do it within a month or two. Yes, that is realistic, guys, but you need to make sure you dedicate the time. For example, if you can only spend one hour a day, then of course you are, you know, it'll take you about 12 to 18 months because you're only spending one hour a day. Now, everyone is a little different, right? And of course, we learn code at a different pace. How to learn code quickly is basically, as you can imagine, the more time you spend practicing and learning, right? The quicker you learn to code. And, you know, you can put your skills to some solid projects or problems. Now, a common mistake that JavaScript coders make is learning the wrong things. So, of course, depending on what you're, which industry or which specialization you're getting into, you need to make sure what you're getting into first, right? So, you better remember what you're learning and find success sooner than later. So, it sounds obvious, but many self-taught developers only you know, look at tutorials, watch videos, and then boom, you think you're a programmer, right? But you cannot just watch other people's code and then know that you know the code. Sometimes it feels, you know, productive, but it's just like a little bit like trying to become a tennis player by watching TV. You can't. You need to practice, practice, and practice. That's how it is, right? For hands-on learning, uh, for example, you can go to our website, claydesk.com. We have tons and tons of free courses or right here on YouTube, for example, or visit our blog for resources, right? So try not to memorize things at first. Rather, focus on the fundamentals in completing a few applications, small applications. Now, if you need to look 
you know, uh, something further, you can always Google it, cheat sheets, for example, go download those resources from our blog, which will give you step-by-step -step hands on tutorials and exercises, right? So just, just hands on. So new coder success, you know, they think that you need to remember everything. Well, you can't, right? You know, not in a short time frame. Over time, yes. So let's further break down and dive deeper. So JavaScript is typically, like I said earlier, is a client-side scripting language for front-end web development. Now, in simple terms, this means that the developers use JavaScript to build a part of a website that ordinary visitors can see and interact with, right? Also known as the front end. That's how it is. So the programming language can typically use to create, you know, the next set of programs. This primary application lies in web development, for example. The front end programmers, they typically use JavaScript in conjunction with uh, HTML and CSS. So you have to have those basic understanding of uh, those two or the syntax of HTML and CSS as well. Now, most common actions, such as transactions, submitting customer forms, customer feedback, even logging in, are facilitated by HTML and CSS, right? So half of, of, half of the work is done. Now, the formatting, um, it also allows developers to describe how HTML should look to a visitor, for example. Now, both, however, are static with only HTML and CSS, a web page is unchanging, right, and relatively simplistic, so to speak. With JavaScript, the website becomes live, it becomes dynamic. Not only does it automate the processes that the users are working with, HTML inside, you need to perform manually, right, but also empowers a website to react to visitors' input. So autocorrect functions, for example, um, interactive graphics, now these can all be credited to, of course, JavaScript working tirelessly in the background. So, how long does it take to learn JavaScript now, right? So, think about this. First, number one, JavaScript and frameworks. These are the fundamentals, right? So along with HTML and CSS, JavaScript is one of the three corner stores technologies of the web, right? Now, HTML structures the page, CSS styles it, and JavaScript adds interactivity. Now, the vast majority of the website use JavaScript, and major web browsers have a dedicated engine to execute JavaScripts. Now, JavaScript frameworks are simply a collection of JavaScript code libraries, like packages that you can use, like JS code ready to use for routine programming features and tasks, right? Now, they expedite the development processes, like shortcuts, right? So, it separates the responsibilities and the code, right? Now, there are plenty of frameworks, including Angular, React, Vue, uh, and Meteor.js, for example, they can use. If you can, or if you've been dabbling with code, you've likely heard of, of all of these, right? The second aspect is getting started with JavaScript, right? So, so any other language, you just have to dive right in, try to learn the basics, try to learn the, the graphs, the understanding, the object-oriented programming concepts, for example. Variable declaration. JavaScript variables, for example, are containers for storing data values. Uh, statements, on the other hand, or JS statements, are instructions to be executed by the web browser itself. Similarly, keywords are tokens that are special meaning in JavaScript, for instance, right? Um, now all these buzzwords may be new to you, but as you go through them, as you develop your understanding, as you spend more time, remember, two to three hours typically, you know, you need to spend at least three hours on JavaScript learning before you can get to the next level or at least have a basic understanding of JavaScript, right? If you spend more time, you're going to decrease your learning curve. That's makes sense, right? Similarly, there are many, many other areas that you can um, try to understand and take a look at what JavaScript has, right? Functions, for example, uh, functions are one of the fundamental building blocks of JavaScript, for example. A function is simply a procedure uh, a set of statements, right, that performs a certain task or calculates a value. Similarly, objects in JavaScript, just as is many other programming languages, objects can be compared to objects in real life. Okay? Now, all JavaScript values except primitives, right, are objects. Now, these are the things you're going to be learning as you move forward when you're trying to understand the basics. 
So write a Hello World web page, uh, take a look at how it's done, understand the concepts, understand the flow, and then these exercises will help you appreciate the, you know, take a look at the big picture, and then you'll slowly start to acquire skills. The third aspects, for now, uh, you, you know, just put the frameworks at the side. Take a look at the vanilla JavaScript, right? Now, frameworks are important, of course, but let's start off without learning the frameworks first, right? Now, don't get me wrong, it's easier to, of course, take shortcuts, right? Take these frameworks and implement them, but it's easier the time will be better spent if you're actually learning from scratch and become more proficient with HTML, CSS, and of course JavaScript, right? Now, now these uh, are building blocks of every JS framework. So learning them will make it easier for you to learn about other frameworks and of course grow your skills easily and substantially. Now many individuals start off learning JavaScript within a framework. They have a hard time shifting gears, for example, okay? Now, this is largely because, you know, if you know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript comes from the context of a particular framework. Now, if, however, for example, if you work outside the framework, then you can jump into any framework and start figuring out how to work with a certain framework of any other language, right? So, that's a good skill to have. But, of course, if you learn JS using a framework, when it you know, when the time comes to update, for example, right, you're going to have a hard time. So, everything that you know about the framework is good, but try learning, for example, right from uh, picking up simple syntax, understanding the code, writing small, small programs, and then develop your skills accordingly. Similarly, libraries and tools also uh, allow you to develop programs faster, right? But it's easier if you take things slow. And all of these things, like the shortcuts, the libraries, and the frameworks are already there, so they're not going anywhere. They, in fact, are there to help you, but to understand the basics, to get to that level where you can get to the entry-level job, or at least appear in the interview, because during the interview, they may give you a coding exercise, or they may give you, they're not going to give you the, the complex problem, right? They just would like to test your understanding about certain concepts of JavaScript. That's why once you get hired or appear in the interview, for example, the interviewer will give you a small coding exercise, and they just want to check your certain concepts within JavaScript, right? They're not interested in uh, having you write the whole program because the time does not permit during the interview, right? But in the short amount of time, you need to let them know that you understand the solid basics, right? So that's the key of understanding JavaScripts. With the tips and strategies that I've just mentioned, it's easier for you to not only start with JavaScript, but also just kind of stay focused on the basics for now. And then once you get hired, you know, the company is going to refine you. The company is going to give you the projects. They, you're going to be working with a certain hands-on project or working within a team. And that's exciting because that's super cool when you work with a team. You get to learn a lot, right? And that's going to help you stay on track and then share your uh, concepts, of course, get your concepts from team. Now, build your exercises around real-world problems so that you get a better understanding of the language itself, right? And, of course, be patient and let's not give up. Learning any new skill takes time and dedication. So, there you go. If you like to learn JavaScript fast, for example, then I'd probably recommend uh, focusing strictly your time at least three to four hours if you can. But again, if you're passionate about getting into JavaScript or learning uh, this technology, this is awesome. Very, very important. It's upcoming, it's exponentially growing. Companies are looking for um, web developers that have solid understanding of JavaScript. Again, you don't need to become a, an expert JavaScript developer because you start somewhere, right? And that's the best way. And, and employers know exactly where you're coming from. What they do want to uh, ask you or test you on are, is your basic understanding, your conceptual skills. So there you go. Let me know in comments down below where you are in your journey of learning JavaScript or any other language. My name is Syed and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.